Howdy champs! Welcome to part 2. My name is Mohit. Let's begin. Okay, even before I redo the document, let me show you a browser preview. Once again. And uh, this is the way things look like. Uh, look like looked like in the previous part. Uh, let's re redo the whole project from the very beginning. Right. So file, new. Alrighty. Uh, let's say create. People uh, I'm using Zen Coding uh, Code Assist plugin, a, pl a free plugin that you can uh, download off the internet, people, and install it for Dreamweaver as an extension. All right, uh, I'm gonna say HTML colon five and press Control plus comma. This is the way, uh, people, you can actually use the Zen Coding plugin, which allows you to code very fast, super quick. Right. In the title of the document, let me say animated menu bar. Let's save the document up. Animated menu bar. <coughs> right. Reach inside the body of the document. Insert a div. So animated menu and control plus comma to expand it. For people who are actually surprised what's happening, I'm using a plugin that allows you to code very fast. It's called Zen Coding. Alright, you can actually see it out here, Zen Coding. This option won't be available uh, with you unless and until you actually Search for it, install it. It's, it's absolutely free. Take it off the internet. Zen coding. All right. Next up, people, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a UL list, an unordered list. Again, I'm I'm going to depend on Zen coding. I'm going to say UL containing li. How many li's? Four of them that actually in turn contain the a tag or the anchor tag. Control plus comma. So I'm going to use a pseudo link so, since I don't have one ready. Control Alt right arrow key to reach the next edit point. I'm gonna say home. Control Alt right arrow key right arrow key <coughs> right arrow key hashtag pseudo link basically since I don't have one ready and then about us or whatever. Control Alt right arrow key next edit point next edit point next edit point a hashtag next edit point people uh, let's say products and hashtag control alt right arrow key and then contact us or whatever right so you can actually see that we have <coughs> excuse me the unordered list ready inside the division very, very cool alrighty next up people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click out here where it says li and click on this plus button to launch the new CSS rule dialog box is going to be a compound rule and it's going to be an internal rule too. Okay, targeting li within uh, ul within animated menu id. Righto, let's say okay <coughs> and and show that the float is set to a left at the same time. Go to the list category, make sure list style type is going to be none, so that's going to take care of the bullets. Bullets are no longer gonna show. So there are no bullets now and it's all floated left, rubbing shoulders with each other. Very, very cool. Okay, next click out here where it says href and click on the plus button people. This time I'm gonna target A within li within ul within animated menu id. Okay, again internal compound rule. Let's say okay. Internal rules are rules that are in the head of the document people opening closing style tags with the type set to text CSS okay let's say font family Georgia font size 140 percent okay I don't want any underline very, very cool I would want the text color to be white <coughs> sorry for all my links should be white the background color should be 333 all right I don't want my uh, anchor tags to be inline, but instead block level elements. So block le level elements start to honor the width and the height, and hence I'm gonna give it, uh, let's say, a width of 150, a height of let's say 50 px. All right. At the same time, let's say a solid thin border of this color. Right oh and let's see the changes. Okay, let's take up a browser preview. 
Alrighty, this is the way things look like right now. I'm going to improve the position of the text. That's the only thing that I need to change. I'm going to double click on the rule to go back to the rule and edit it. I'm going to keep the line height the same as the height of the menu. That's going to center the uh, text vertically as you can very clearly see out here it shifted. Okay, earlier this is the way it actually was top at the top. Now it, you, the trick is to keep the line height the same as the height of the menu. It will shift down. Okay. In fact, I didn't want an underline. I'm sorry. <coughs> underline taken away. Go to the block category and text align. Make sure it's centered. So the text will center itself. Let's save the changes up. Bring up the browser. Refresh the browser. And this is the way the menu bar looks like right now. Okay. Let's check the border out. Let's keep it rich. Just gives you a 3D effect. Okay. Things sorted. Let's move ahead. Okay. Next, people, make sure that you click on href once again. Click on this plus button. This time, I'm going to create a hover state for my link. So, targeting A within LI within UL within animated menu ID. Again, internal compound rule. I'm going to say OK. Okay, in the hover state, people. Mm, <clears throat> I'm not going to make any changes out here in the dialog box. I'm going to hand code it. So let me get inside the opening closing style tags and uh, finish off this rule by hand coding. All right, I'm going to use the box shadow property. Again, without vendor prefixes, people, check if you actually need uh, vendor prefixes for old browsers like dash webkit dash for uh, Chrome and Safari, dash moz dash for Mozilla. You actually need it only for the older browsers, people, dash ms dash for. Uh, IE and dash or dash for Opera, but since I'm using the uh, you know the most uh, updated browsers, I don't need to use the vendor prefixes. And for simplicity's sake, also I'm actually skipping it. But you might need to do that. So check on the uh, compatibility of the older browsers and accordingly uh, use the vendor prefixes dash uh, dash or dash dash MZ dash dash WebKit dash for Chrome and Safari and dash MS dash for um, IE. You can do the compatibility check yourself online. Okay, so a box shadow people and of what color? Okay, first the shift along the x and the y axis. Along the x axis, no shift. Along the y axis, 10 px of shift, you know, vertically downwards. And the color, let's say saddle brown. Okay, at this point, let me press F12, take up a browser preview. See, as I hover, you see some box shadows actually thrown outside. If I want it inside people just need to include the inset keyword after the color inset. People notice that after you know just before the color I have actually skipped the blurriness, uh, the blur and the spread. Again two additional optional parameters that I can actually skip since they are optional. Okay so if I keep it inset you know the shadow will actually go in as I'm gonna show you see this time it goes in and from the top okay if I were to increase the size to half of the size of the menu bar which is actually 50 the height is 50 if you remember let's see how things look okay this is half of the menu bar covered and then if I just put a comma again say 0 and this time say minus 25 px Shift along the y axis, okay. X, I'll shift along the x axis, 0, y axis, 25. Basically, the length of the shadow people. And then <coughs> the color. How about chocolate? Again, in set. And F12 to preview things up in the browser. And notice how things look like right now. I'm almost done people all I need to do is I need to go out here okay in this rule which is for the a tag but not in the hover state okay and use the transition property again I'm not using vendor prefixes people dash webkit dash for chrome and safari dash most uh, dash dash or dash dash ms dash use if uh, use only if needed but most modern contemporary browsers won't need need them okay so transition of the box shadow over let's say 0.5 seconds half a second f12 preview things up 
see the way the animation actually happens very cool and if <coughs> let's say I copy this much into the next rule make a change out here okay so we'll have a dual speed uh, animation going this time it opens and closes at a different rate this time you see, if you notice it closes uh, a little slower alrighty very, very cool and uh, next up people if I were to just use one single inset shadow and not use dual uh, shadows I can do like this and instead of saying 25 let's say 50 px okay F12 to preview things up see we'll just have one shadow going from the top and instead if I make it minus 50 it'll go from the bottom F12 this way alright people okay this is where I'm gonna terminate the tutorial people I hope you enjoyed it I'll keep the source code available as a free download from my website HTTP colon forward slash forward slash qualitylessons.net let me put it up in the title okay so source code at HTTP colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads one dot html and people my name is Mohit Manucha okay and this is my email address just in case you might need to get in touch with me alrighty people so uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, second part too I hope you thumb the video up I hope you will subscribe if you already haven't and I will also hope that you will keep coming back for more and more tutorials from me. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.